This week on My Strange Addiction, we have Poda from Gary, Indiana, but she thinks she's one of the 300 species who are made up of two asymmetrical halves who filter feed on planktonic organisms and have a special structure called lophophore to help cause currents that help in catching prey. This is my daughter, Poda. She is 20 years old and she's been dormant for three brachiopoda years. She began this transition into a brachiopoda soon after her boyfriend broke up with her her sophomore year. At first, we thought she was a mollusk, for example, like a clam, but really she is just superficially resembling the bivalve symmetry of them. Brachiopoda actually only have lateral symmetry and have a ventral and dorsal half where the two sides are different. Frequently, I would see her eating crumbs off the floor after dinner, but not actually eating her dinner off her plate. I asked her, and she said it was because brachiopoda are plankton filter feeders and only eat leftovers. She has this weird thing called a loaf of four, which is a horse, horseshoe-like structure that forces food her way and also uses it to move around. Oh, don't even get me started on that new boyfriend of hers, Coda. He has some differences, though, since he is an articulata. He has a tooth and socket valve keeping his shells together, and it's so squeaky and loud. Luckily, Poda is an inarticulata and just has some muscular valve keeping her shells together. Those are the two major groups of the taxa. We took her to Ikea to redecorate her room, and she wouldn't buy anything. Recently, I looked out in the garbage and saw all of her stuff from her room. Now, the only thing that fills up her room are rocks. I don't even know how she sleeps. She's also been using the air conditioning in her room a lot, so that's getting expensive. I'm most worried about her future. How is she going to get a job? Children? Oh gosh, don't even get me started on that. I want grandchildren. I heard that brachiopods have a breeding season in both the spring and the summer. Also, they fertilize externally in water. Although in a few species, the female picks up the sperm and fertilizes internally. The embryo develops a holoplastic cleavage pattern and are deuterosomes, meaning that the anus forms first and the mouth second. Mom, this is what it means as demonstrated by our phylogenetic tree based on our morphological observations and the structural functions from data matrix. Brachiopoda is most related to the annelid taxon or the earthworm. Brachiopoda and earthworm. Now onto our phylogenetic tree based on the 16 rRNA sequences provided to us. Brachiopoda has a monophyletic relationship with the mollusca taxon. Brachiopoda and mollusca. Trees are different based on their sister taxa and clad positionings because the first cladogram is based on lab observations of their physical and functional traits. Whereas the other 16 rRNA sequences, cladogram is based on the DNA. Here is a cladogram from the Journal of Phylogenomic Insights into Animal Evolution by J. Tefford and others. It can be noted that Brachiopoda is in the same clad as Annelida and the Mollusca, which matches the relationships of the phylogenetic tree based on the morphological observations and structural functions from data matrix and the phylogenetic tree based on the 16 rRNA sequences. Looking at the branching point where Brachiopoda, Annelida, and the Mollusca taxon evolved, from the rest of the group has to do with the fact that they all have a spiral cleavage patterns which the other taxon don't have. Spiral cleavage is what relates the brachiopoda to the mollusca and the annelids. Also spiral cleavage is a more recent evolved trait and why it is present later in the phylogeny of these differing organisms. Ever since her transition, we haven't been wasting any food because Poda takes care of it, meaning that we are saving money. Originally, we were saving for a college tuition, but she doesn't want to go to college because she believes she only has 10 years left since Brachiopoda only lived till 30. There have only been a few cases of the Brachiopoda syndrome reported in the United States so far. Poda's is unique for sure. If you are or know of someone who is expressing symptoms of the Brachiopoda syndrome, please contact 847-571-4444. Special thanks to Dr. Willette, Dr. Biddick, Dr. Gasparian, Ellie Pitcher, and the rest of the LMU Biology Department for making this research possible.